What's going on YouTube? Cuss by Reggie here with another video. Today we're gonna do something a little different. I'm going to give my, it's gonna be a video of pretty much my opinions on, uh, especially if you're a new barber and you're on a budget, it's gonna be kind of my opinion on what clippers and trimmers are worth the money to start off with. And then, you know, kind of based on budget and performance of the clippers. Just before this, I'll start. These are my opinions. I could be wrong. There could be other clippers that are better, that uh, uh, does the job a little bit better than what I'm what I'm explaining. But this is what I think you should uh, look for in trimmers, uh, clippers, and shavers. And I actually might break it up into a few, uh, maybe three parts, so you're not just sitting and watching a long video. I'm not gonna make them long. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna really go into detail of each clipper, but I'm gonna try to explain just pretty much the the basic overview of the clipper, the trimmers. So what I'm gonna try to do is give you two trimmers or two clippers and trimmers that's corded, two clippers and trimmers that's cordless, and then shavers, all right? So well, let's do it like this. Let's go ahead and say I'm gonna split them up. So this is part one. This is our, These are the, the basic overview of the clippers of, uh, that I think you should use or that I think you should be looking for if you're a new barber or if you're just a barber looking for new clippers. Of course, these are not clippers that's only for beginner barbers, all right? There'll be some people that'll tell you certain clippers work better than this and, and they do, but if you're a beginning barber and your budget doesn't matter, you can go ahead and go to the clippers that people say are better than other clippers, all right? So since I am splitting them up, I'm not gonna try to make these videos long. I'm gonna try to make them five minutes <laughs> at least, all right? Five minutes or less. This one's gonna be a little longer because I'm explaining what's going on, all right? So let's start off with the corded trimmers, all right? I'm gonna try to put in here clippers and trimmers that I've used. Clippers, I'm gonna try to put in clippers and trimmers that I have but more or less clippers and trimmers that I have at least used. These, was not, these will not be clippers that uh, I'm just seeing online and people saying that they're good, all right? So first off, we're gonna start with the, one of my favorite clippers, the Wild Seniors. As y'all can see, this little tape on them. Sometimes you gotta tape them up because they putting in use. These are the Wild Seniors, all right? These are a staple in the industry of barbers and they not that much. The last time I checked, they were $96. You could probably get them for less than that, depending on where you shop. These are just prices that I see when I'm looking online. They got a, a V9000 motor. Of course they cord it, so you, you will plug them up, <laughs> all right? But they're quieter. Let me plug them up real quick. Of course they're gonna be quieter than the cordless ones. I mean, you can't hear that, they cordless. I mean, they cord it, all right? So these are the V9000 motor. Um, uh, the V9000 help with the cooling down. They help you get that power in them. Uh, they got like 14,000 strokes per minute. That's more than your cordless, clipper, uh, cordless clippers that might have 7,500, something like that. So that's clipper number one. About $96, these are less than $100. What I'm trying to do is tell you a budget clipper that's less than, at least less than $100, $125 maybe $150, all right? Because when you're new into barbering, you're just looking for something that can get the job done, all right? You're not really looking for the high end. Well, if you're looking on social media, you might be looking for the high end, but you might not be looking to just bust out thousands of dollars on clippers. You're working on a budget, all right? So boom, less than $100, the top dog in clippers, all right? These are the seniors, the corded seniors, the first, not the first edition, but they, they got some, they got the blue top and blah, blah, but boom. Also from wall that are clippers that's corded that can pretty much get the job done. You got the super tapers, you got the icon and you got the legends, which the legends are great clippers. I'm pretty sure y'all done seen or heard about the, the legends and heard people wanting a cordless legend. So you got that, all right? Another clipper, which I don't have on me, I actually gave away my pair of the masters because I'm not a fan of the masters myself, but they are uh, another high-end clipper in the sense of they, they've been in the industry for a while. I'm pretty sure everybody's seen the cordless or whatever, but we're talking about the corded 
uh, Masters from Andes, all right? I think I seen them online for like 115. There's different websites that you can search. You can, of course you can go Amazon, uh, of course you go to the Andes website, but you can go to Atlanta Barber. You can go to um, uh, Sally's Beauty. There's a lot of different places where you can find these top end clippers that's been in the industry for a while. They're not on pre-order. All right, you can go and find them right now. So you got the Andes Masters again, 14,000 strokes per minute. Um, the only thing, the only flaw with the Andes Masters are they're kind of heavy. Uh, once you get used to the weight of those clippers, they don't seem that bad. All right, so as for my top two corded clippers to use if you're on a budget, you're new to the industry or you just looking for something that can get the job done you got the wall singers and you got the andes masters two of the top-notch clippers in the game all right and if you've been watching my channel you know i'm i'm a, a cordless as far as clippers i'm all cordless all right so my number one clipper from uh for your cordless cordless if you're looking for cordless and you're not trying to get tangled up in your in your cores and stuff the wall magic clips the wall magic clips are my favorite clippers i use a lot of clippers i buy a lot of clippers and yeah these are my favorite clippers you can get these for about 85 dollars on atlantabarber.com actually on the the wall website they're like 110 115 atlanta barber 85 dollars you can get these versions or you can get the uh the black and gold editions that i showed in my last video that's supposedly limited not my last video but one of my videos that's supposedly limited edition all right 85 dollars the only flaw with these is they only got a 90 minute runtime uh that's one thing in 21 2021 that i hope wow and andy's work on because you got other clippers giving us three to four hours of runtime that's one thing that i wish could uh that they had better on this is runtime and a stronger, a stronger, uh, uh, stronger power. You know what I'm saying? But if you're looking for a clipper, cordless clipper, you just need to get the job done. Not just need to get the job done like they bad, but if you just need something to get the job done, wall cordless magic clips, top notch. All right. These are my favorite cordless clippers. If anybody ever asks, it's really my favorite clipper. All right. And another pair of cordless clippers that's gonna get the job done. They kind of new to me. I know they don't been around, but this is the third generation of the 357 Magnum from Caliber. All right. When I ordered these, I think they were like 105, 110 on the Caliber website. You can't really get Caliber clippers anywhere else, which is that's one thing that I like about Caliber. I don't want to always have to look for pricing just give me the price on your website keep it there all right so 105 110 uh the caliber the the one thing i do love more about these than the uh, magic clips four hour run time and they gonna run all right they come with the taper blade that they say is a fade blade and somebody said it's a good mix of a fade blade and taper blade which i can get that because it got a hump but not a big one so i'm with that so if you're looking for cordless clippers my two top notch clippers for cordless is the magic clips and the 357 magnum uh i'm not going too deep into reviewing of these these clippers i just want to explain why i like them and the pricing of them and why i think they good but if you're looking for a review i do have a review on the 357 magnums and i'll leave the link down below to let you check that out all right boom oh you put the um the the, the fade blade off the uh off the 50 cows on this heaven you're running baby you're running but <laughs> so that's part one like I said, I'm not going to make these videos super long. I'm just trying to explain uh, what's some good clippers to start off with. Uh, if you're a new barber and you're looking for corded clippers, all right? If you're looking for corded clippers on a budget, you got Wall Seniors, you got the Andes Masters. But also from Wall, they have a bigger variety. Uh, the uh, Wall Seniors are $96, but you can get Super Tapers cheaper. You can get the wild legends cheaper you get the wild icons cheaper all right and also for bulk 
wall also has a balding clipper all right so but it's corded they don't have a cordless one which i hope they do soon but wall uh wall senior and these master for your corded clippers all right and for your cordless you got the wall magic clips and caliber 357 mag all right if you want me to do a more detailed uh dive on any other clippers that i name i will just leave a comment down below i'm just trying to put out what i think is very helpful for newer barbers who might be on a budget all right cuts by reggie if you like the video like the video if you dislike the video hit that thumbs down button like share subscribe comment and we'll be back with part two next so i'm gonna you know what i'm gonna do this uh mondays part one this monday part two be next monday and so forth all right appreciate y'all watching